um, a lot of us, including myself, have experienced compiling um, and error compiling UDF files in the Fluent setup window. Now, if you're constantly experiencing this issue and could not find a resolution to it, um, I'm going to talk about an alternative way to open up the Fluent Launcher instead of using the ANSYS Workbench window and click on Setup. Um, we're going to use uh, another tool. So let's close this window. And before doing that, we want to export the case file to somewhere we can find easily. So go to File and Export Case. And um, I'll just save it in my desktop. Uh, rename the file to whatever you want. And I'm just going to name it Case. So now that a new file is saved on my desktop for this case. Um, so we don't need this window anymore. Uh, close the window and click OK. In the Start menu, make sure that you have Visual Studio installed because uh, that is the main software that um, ANSYS used to compile the UDF codes. So go to Start and um, type in cross, well, from the first two. So um, you can see a cross to command app here, and we want to use that to open the Fluent Launcher. So um, in order to do that, we have to know the root file for the for Fluent Launcher. So if we look at our folder, it normally is located in our drive, Windows uh, hard drive, and program files, and ANSYS Inc. And in my case, I use ANSYS Student because I'm a student. And um, I have ANSYS R2, which is uh, version 194, and ANSYS R3, which is uh, version 195. I'm going to use ANSYS R3. And if we click on that, V195, we can go to, we can see Fluent folder and um, go to NT bin. Uh, Win64, you can see a Fluent app file right here. So we, we want to locate that this file in the cross2 command window. And in order to do that, we want to <clears throat> um, click on CD backslash and enter. And uh, now we want to access the program files. So program files, sorry, you have to put in CD and then program files. and CD, ANSYS Inc, and CD, ANSYS Student, and so I want to use R3, which is CD V195, and, um, and Fluent folder. So um, after that, CD, NT, bin, um, CD, Win64. And so at this point, we can access Win64 folder and just type in Fluent and the launcher will pop up. So um, for my simulation, I'm doing a two-dimensional simulation and double precision parallel to two processors and click OK. For this ANSYS setup window, uh, there's no file loaded yet. We want to use the previous case file we have saved. Uh, in order to do that, go to File, um, Read, and go to Case. So um, I saved my file in the desktop as Case. So go up and Case and OK. Okay, there's going to be an error message. Just ignore that. Click OK. Go to User Defined. Click on Functions and Compiled. And um, now we want to change the library name to uh, libudf only. So this will build a new file, a new folder for, for the UDF, probably in the desktop. And click on Add. Um, now I want to put in my UDF file with six degree of freedom and OK. And now click on Build, OK, and Load. We have now successfully loaded in the console window. Uh, we no longer get the error message. 
and um, in order to see if your code, your UDF is working, uh, go to Dynamic Mesh, activate Dynamic Mesh, and create the wall, the wall zone for Dynamic Mesh. So for me, the wall is moving rigid body. The UDF file is wall lib UDF and uh, create and close. And uh, we can check the motion by display zone motion. And uh, if you click preview, you'll see that now the wall is moving. So now that the UDF is working, uh, make sure every time that you modify something in outline view, uh, save it as write case and replace your old file um, with your new one and then click OK. So now if we clo close the window, and if we want to relaunch, just click on the case, <coughs> click OK. And just to double check if the mesh is still working, so click on dynamic mesh, click on wall, display zone motion again, and preview. It's still working. Okay, so mm, that's all I, all I want to say today. Thank you.